Now, I was going to ask you how long do you think it takes, but I forgot and flipped the slide too fast. I should tell you that that answer doesn't go for everywhere. So if you bulldoze a biological community and build a shopping mall on top of it, and then you abandon the mall, build a development, abandon the development, farm a field, abandon the field. Around here, in roughly 100 years, you're looking back at mature forest. In the rainforest of Brazil, it might be a much shorter time period. Interestingly enough, in some place like the Arctic or the northern forests of Canada, it might be longer than that. We're going to talk about why. But, you know, it takes time, but nature will reclaim everything. She's been here longer than you have. <laughs> she will win in the end. Period. There's nothing you can do to stop it. This is a different question. You know what that is? Have you ever seen a baby island? That is a brand new island. And this actually emerged from the Pacific Ocean in September of 2017. What would cause something like that? What caused Hawaii? Okay. Volcano, underwater volcano. Finally breached the surface. And so that is brand new land. There has never been land there before. And now there's land there. And if it keeps going, it'll get bigger. I mean, the Hawaiian Islands, all of them started off like that. There is no life there. And there has never been any life there. It is brand new. It is a fresh thing. And when we have a brand new place, we can't regrow a biological community because there was never a biological community there in the first place. So what we have now is primary succession. So this is growing a biological community the first time. from scratch, making one from scratch, in essence. So in primary succession, the big thing is that there's never been life there before. So we see it on volcanic islands, we see it on sand dunes, and any place we've got bare rock. So if you had a glacier that scraped off all the soil down to bedrock, you could have primary succession there. Because the really big difference is that there's no soil. Now let me ask you this. We said secondary succession, you know, like in a place like this would take about 100 years. Do you think this takes more or less time? More. It always takes more time to make something from scratch. <clears throat> this can take 1,000 years. This takes a lot more time. It is a really slow process because there's no soil. There's no soil. There's nothing for plants to get a hold of. There's no minerals. So what we get first are these things that can live on bare rock called lichen. And lichen are actually a symbiotic organism. They're made up of a fungus and an algae plus some bacteria. Before, we, we didn't used to know that there were bacteria in there. Um, and so my best friend had a wonderful joke about these. Um, Freddy Fungus fell in love with Alice Algae, but now their relationship is on the rocks. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Freddy Fungus took a lichen, that's it, to Alice Algae, but now their relationship is on the rocks. I think it's hilarious. Um, they show up on the rock, and they actually produce acid with their little bodies, and they break the rock down. And that dissolved rock makes mineral, and then when the lichen die, they decompose and they form soil. So they're the first thing to show up. This, so the big difference between primary succession and secondary <coughs> succession is soil. If there's soil, then what we're talking about is secondary succession. If there's no soil, if we're talking about bare rock, that is primary succession. So lava flows sand dunes, 
because sand is not soil. Soil involves minerals and organic material. Um, those are all primary. There's soil there, it's secondary. There was a biological community at some point. So your homework, you got two things. You've got a little video that's just to reinforce what we talked about with ecological succession. It's amoeba sisters. They're kind of fun and they're not nearly as fast as Crash Course. Um, and the, the illustrations are nice. You also have a go formative. So let me make sure that that's posted. Have you all done go formatives before? This is easy peasy. It's three questions and popping in some pictures. So that's it. When you walk in tomorrow, there's a recall quiz on ecological succession. And then we'll wrap it up. Your test is Thursday, so part C of your vocab is due on Thursday.